Good morning. I think the sun is up now. Everyone went to bed really early. Ralph went to bed around like 10.30 when we normally watch our movie marathon at that time. So, I think I put on some Christmas Eve movie. I think that's the new movie. But he was not interested. He was really sleeping. And I loaded Paranormal Activity, the latest one, and he still didn't wake up. But I didn't want to watch that horror movie alone because sometimes I can't go to the bathroom alone, seriously. So I just turned it off and just went to bed. I think that's the earliest that we've gone to bed. Ooh. What did you do to the curtain? Oh my god, you're so dirty. I had to close all the jalousies because I think they were cold yesterday. Plus it was really cold yesterday. Even I was very cold. I just had to change the waters because when I woke up, all these bottled waters are empty. I literally just woke up. I also closed all jalousies here because the wind, the curtain is trying to knock down the Christmas tree. <clears throat> Good morning. Can I uncover you now? Good morning, Carlos. Good morning, Starbucks. How have you been? Can I have water? Good morning, Ken. Are you going to church today? Huh? Are you going to church today? We might. We might. <clears throat> so I have a small problem. I think my son... Well, I don't think my son. I know that my son has a girlfriend now and he is only 12 years old yeah I mean how uh, how am I supposed to feel I mean normally how do parents feel when their young boy has a girlfriend it started when a friend of mine called me up and told me that there were rumors spreading on Facebook that my boy is officially like a couple with a girl who has been having a crush on him for a long time. At first, I did not believe it because my son is really an aloof type and he hates it when people tease him to someone else. So, to think that he would actually be in a relationship is kind of a stretch for me. So, yeah, we did ask him. He did not deny it. Nor did he confirm, but later, I really, like, talked to him seriously and asked him how it all started. He did admit it to my shock and surprise. I really cannot believe it. Like, hello, you're still like my baby and you're already in a like relationship. Come on. What's going on in the world today? Why are they doing that at such a very young age? And my husband was like, you have to back down. You leave him alone, leave his like love life alone. What do you think, guys? Should I back down? I mean, come on. He's way too young. I mean, I know mine is a boy here, and the one that should really be worded are the parents of the female, but still. 
like Ken has his own internet, he has his own computer, so God knows what he's been looking at online and how much of those is going to be applying in real life. There's really no telling. I think this is one of the scariest moments in a parent's life. And my mother really was not around to like tutor me on this because I lost her when I was like 16 years old to breast cancer.
you guys we are now here in Pizarro pizza place this is like a new pizza place in Inigran and we were supposed to go to seven waves but it was closed we didn't even know that it closes maybe because it's Sunday I'm with Ralph and we're waiting for our what kind of pizza cheese pops Hawaiian they actually they also serve like french fries and burgers and the place is actually really good it's in the back of Pizarro you really have to walk through their kitchen area to get here uh, <laughs> and some of our friends are like having a blast already at the other booth. I actually have a headache, but Ralph wanted to celebrate. Besides, tomorrow is our day off. It's like. So what's really the celebration for? This, uh, we're celebrating that I got a very difficult bug fixed. Yeah, well, as <laughs> you all know, my husband is a programmer. And he spent the entire afternoon, like, throwing F-bombs. I was in dependency hell. OSGI dependency hell. All day. <laughs> and I assumed he fixed it. You did, right? Yeah, Which finally right now we're just having Sun Mig lights, me and him. <clears throat> and this place is actually cozy. Is that ours? One. So that's our order. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, thank you. Follow up ano mam ang plate mam. All right. Drink. May eight ounces ka mo tumam nga. Duha. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. And they're polite. I think that is really a good thing. It's good they have Sam. <laughs> uh, the thing is, he can't smoke freely here. Well, you probably can. But well, how can you smoke when there's a lot of Nipa huts? Like, flammable. What do you call this, honey? Cheesy pops, quiet toppings. All right. Okay, so we're done, and we are gonna head home. Did you enjoy? Yes, it was very good. Mauna konet. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. See, it's right across from the Sears bus terminal. Very easy to find. Yeah, after you get out of Pizarro, you just see the Sears terminal there. So you see that it's a big Pizarro place. Well, it just says Pizarro, and it's really worth it. Even if it's expensive, it's worth it. We're just waiting for a ride. We actually don't have our own ride, so we're just gonna get a trike. Because my brother took my son to the plaza. It's a lovely night. It's not raining anymore. 